Go, let's go to the hotline. There's a ton of huge games in the final week of the regular season uh, in the Texas high school football world. One of them is for the District 7-4A Division I crown. Let's go to the hotline, and we're pleased to be joined by the head coach of the Salina Bobcats, Coach Bill Elliott. Coach, how are you? I'm great, man. How are y'all? I'm doing excellent. How are things in Salina? Great. Beautiful day. Great day for football. Absolutely. It is a great day for football as you guys uh, take on Frisco Panther Creek tonight. Um, I want to ask you about the growth of this team. This is a program that I know in the early going, um, there was some concern. Not concern. That's too strong. There was, there were, you needed some young guys to step up. Let's put it that way. Yes. Yeah, um, yeah, it's all, you know, it's always that way. Every year when you start out, you know, and I think every, it's, you know, about 31 seasons in Salina, you know, every year we get through the year and you, everybody looks around, the whole community looks around and goes, oh my gosh, she's going to take so-and-so's place, you know, and it's, that's what's been so great about Salina, I think, over the years, the tradition, the legacy here is somebody steps up, you know, we've had two, two young running backs who've really stepped up and done an excellent job and uh, very proud of both those guys and Logan Gutierrez and uh, Harrison. Uh, Williams and just the the outstanding uh, regular season they've had so far. You know, you mentioned that, and it is, it's so remarkable, even from the outsider's perspective, is like you look up and then there's two guys you've never heard of who are suddenly <laughs> like playing like all state guys. Is is that just now, is that the expectation there in Salina that like, yeah, we've got some questions, but we know that the pedigree and the history of this program shows that we're going to figure it out. You know, yeah, I mean, it is, it is, and it isn't, you know, because as a coach, you always worry, you know, and I guess I've been here for so long, and I've seen that happen so many times, uh, you know, and a lot of our younger coaches haven't, you know, seen that so much, and so they're all, you know, in panic mode last spring and during the summer, and, and a lot of our townspeople are, but, you know, that's, when you, when you're in a program that's so rich in tradition, and so rich in legacy, that's been able to be consistent, you know, not just have a good year every now and then, but be consistent year in and year out. Uh, to be relevant, you kind of understand that that's what's going to take place. And the kids understand that. They understand that expectation. There's a lot of expectation on them in Salina. You know, not just in everything that, that Salina does. You know, we just won state and band last night, you know, down in San Antonio. Our band, you know, they, they repeated us two in a row for them. And, and our girls are going to state Saturday and cross country. It's just an expectation in Salina that you're supposed to compete at a very high level of whatever you're doing. And so that's what makes it a great place to coach. I mean, it's pressure, but it's also I would hate to be in any place – that didn't have that pressure. Uh, Bill Elliott, the head coach of Salina Bobcats, joined us here. Uh, I want to go back, Coach, to, uh, 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 boy, it's now two months ago, uh, against Anna. Uh, yes. and that's a team that had uh, uh, bedeviled you guys last year, <laughs> uh, and you guys play an, an instant classic with them uh, in, in and get a four-overtime win, 42-40. to 40. What did that win do for you guys right as you guys were entering district play? You know, I think it was a huge catalyst for us. You know, it's just, it was, uh, you know, our kids were looking forward to that game. They've been looking forward to the last year with them beating us twice last year, you know, once in preseason and once in the playoffs. And, you know, and especially because the, the history of Anna and Salina and playing for so many years, and it's been 50 years since I think Anna had beat us, you know. And so, uh, you know, that was just something that weighed heavy on our kids, I think, and all our community. And so to get that game when it came up was just such a – it was one thing got a bear off their back, I think, you know, because they felt like you know, that had kind of weighed on them since last year. And it just was a catalyst to push us on into district and then on in hopefully to the playoffs and, and just the, the route that we're on right now. Uh, you know, for all the, the talk about the offense that, that we've had, you know, the, when I think of Salina football, I think about defense and I think about yes, you know, an aggressive, uh, you know, style of defense, a hard hitting, mm-hmm. a, a defense you don't feel particularly good about uh, after you play them the next day. Um, <laughs> The, and I, I I hate to ask you to compare, but when you take a look yeah. at this year's defense, what what has you excited about this year's particular defense? You know, I tell you, that was one of the areas that, as a coaching staff, we were concerned about coming in was our defense, and just because we lost several guys last year off our defense, deep couple of defensive linemen that were really good, we lost some secondary guy. You know, there, was, there was a lot of areas that we really had to step up in there, and you know, and that's you know, our offense kind of at first kind of had to do some things in some games to to win games, you know, to help the defense out a little bit. And that's that, that's what we want to be is we want to be a balanced team, a complementary team that complements each other. And our defense has grown so much through this year. They've gotten better and better. And it's, you know, we go one-on-ones, you know, quite a bit in practice at times, and, and we do like a tempo session or two-minute session against the, the first defense. And they were running defense against us yesterday, and our OC standing beside me behind our offense because I still coach our offensive line over there. And he looked, and he's in a quarterback, you know, and he, he played quarterback in high school, college, and he's looking over, and he goes, that's miserable. <laughs> you know, and, and he knows our defense because he grew up here, and he played in our defense too, and, you know, so he knows what it's like. But 
to sit over there as a quarterback and you see what they're doing. And it's like he said, it's miserable as a quarterback, you know, and it, it's tough. And so, you know, excited about them and how they've developed. And Coach Ford, Coach Chirac, uh, you know, have done a great job with that defense and helping them develop. And those players have really grown up and just excited about the way they play. And they do. They're very – it's very intense, you know, a very uh, attack defense, and that's what we want to do on both sides of the ball. Uh, it's going down uh, tonight as the Frisco Panther uh, Creek Panthers uh, take on the Salina Bobcats for a district championship uh, there at Kuykendall, uh, Kirkendall Stadium. Uh, Coach, uh, this is a this is a darn good Panther Creek ball club. Uh, I don't want to ask yes. you to give away your game plan, but uh, <laughs> but what are you guys going to be up against tonight? You know, they're very talented. They've got some great skill kids. You know, they've got a couple receivers. Uh, quarterback's very talented, the Braxton kid. I mean, he's – you know, that's the thing. It's the same team pretty much we played last year, but he, you know, he's a new addition. The Braxton kid is a quarterback. Uh, but, you know, number 11, the receiver, man, he's very, very talented. The running back's talented, big kid. Uh, you know, and Coach Surratt does a great job. I've known him for a long time. He actually lives in Salina, you know, so it's – but, I mean, he coached at Lone Star, then at Princeton, and, and they go back over to Frisco to Panther Creek, and he, he's a great – Great person, does a great job with the kids. And so, you know, he'll have them, them ready to play and have them coached up really well. They'll have some good schemes. Uh, you know, we just got to go play Salina football when it comes down to it. You know, we've got to be very physical. Uh, we've got to be very fast in everything we do and, and take that fight to them and attack them uh, with the kind of physical football that we play. Uh, and finally, Coach, and this is for, for me and me personally, um, <laughs> you are in uh, exceptional shape. You are one of you are one of the most fit coaches out there. Can you tell? I'll, you, I'll we'll turn off the cameras. It's fine. Can you just tell me your secret? Man, it's just you know I think I think it's living right. I think you know it's, it's just my life the way I live. I think it just you know it's become such a habit for me working out. Mm -hmm. uh, long long time ago when I was a young coach coming out of college, of course I weighed three hundred pounds coming out of college and just knowing that I needed to lose that weight and not carry that weight around with me to be healthy for my little boys that I had at that time and my wife and just to be able to carry on, you know, and really got to get into working out. And, and of course, it's easy as a coach to work out because you're, you're in the weight room every day. Mm -hmm. You're here. Mm -hmm. And some of my older players back then, a kid named Jamie Blatnick, of course, who went on to play at OSU and, uh, and then went to the NFL for a few years. And, you know, he's a straight coach at OSU now. He and I started working out together at 5 o'clock in the morning way back, you know, and that, that kind of spawned a lot of the kids to come. And I was working out with them. We were in the weight room together, and it just kind of grew from there. And I've just kind of maintained that habit, you know, every morning. I'm here. I get here at 3.30 every morning. I'm here early, and I'm working, and I'm in that weight room getting after it, you know, and then we get ready for workouts. We work out at 6. And I've got a bunch of my young coaches that are doing the same thing now, so they're following that in the, in that same track. And, you know, my two boys work for us now, and they're in the weight room every morning working out. So it's turned into kind of a thing that we all do – together we're in there you know getting that workout in you know knowing what it does for us as an example for our kids you know because our kids see us and they know hey coach works out like that we can too you know so uh i appreciate you noticing me man thanks <laughs> hey whatever you're doing keep it up he's he's we'll try he's Bill Elliott. He's that i'm old dude i'm getting old this is getting harder and harder i promise you but i'm gonna keep it up it's bill elliott uh, the head coach of the salina bobcats coach appreciate your time best of luck tonight yes, sir. Thank you, man. Appreciate all you do for us, man. Y'all have a great day. Absolutely. Bye -bye. There he goes. <laughs> Bill Elliott. Appreciate you noticing. Coach, how could I not notice? That dude's, he's jacked. Oh, yeah, he's huge. He's jacked. 3.30. I mean, he was, I mean, He had me at 5 a.m. I'm, I'm all about that. 5 a.m. I, I, my I, alarm I do, goes off at 5. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say, my, my Mallory's, we, we're always three going thirty. 5. But 3, and getting there at 3.30. All right, you that's know what? at least waking up at 3. All right, I'll just say it. Bill Elliott, he's got that dog in him. He, he's he got, like, and it's not Steps' little uh, weenie dog dog in him. Like, <laughs> that dog that guy's got a pit bull in him. And he's got that dog in him. We appreciate Bill Elliott. Huge game tonight against Panther Creek. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you would like more and to be notified when they come out, go ahead and click that subscribe button right down there. You can also watch Texas Football Today every day live at noon on TexasFootball.com, Facebook, Twitch, and right here on YouTube. For more of the best coverage of Texas football in the Lone Star State, go to TexasFootball.com slash subscribe.